So what body avatar does is actually in, in one sentence, it lets any Kinect player to be able to create avatars of any shape they can, they can imagine without learning any uh, complex 3D modeling tools. So my name is Xiang Cao. I'm from uh, Microsoft Research uh, Asia, based in Beijing. I'm here uh, showing a demo of body avatar. So what body avatar does is actually, in, in one sentence, it lets any Kinect player to be able to create avatars of any shape they can, they can imagine without learning any uh, complex 3D modeling tools. So I'm, I'm wearing, wearing this glove, and it's used to detect um, my different finger gestures used for different operations in the body avatar system. So for this particular glove, we, uh, we attach several pieces of conductive um, cloth on the gloves. So as I, I'm doing certain gestures, these electrodes will touch each other and actually generate a mouse event, which is uh, sent wirelessly to the PC. So this is more um, a kind of short-term solution to, to enable that. Um, and we have colleagues also from Microsoft Research who are working on using Kinect camera itself to detect this kind of finger gesture. In the future, we hope to combine those two technologies to be able to do the same kind of operations using bare hands. As you know, today when you play a Kinect game, you'll be using kind of virtual characters or avatars to re represent you in the game. But what if you want to create something completely after your, your own imagination, more unique, more you? So one example I'll show you is a, is a butterfly. So I can start by pose, posing any posture as I like, as the initial shape of my avatar. So in this case, a very simple example, a standing posture. And now this, it becomes the main body of my, uh, my avatar. And anything I do from this point to my body will have the effect of the avatar. For example, I can actually pinch from my, to my former head to create an antenna. Or I can sweep my hand to, to create a wing. And if I want to grow a big tummy, I can literally gesture on my, around my own tummy to, to make a big one. And if I want to grow some, some, some legs, I can also do that. If I want to add some color, I can do that as well. I'll write something on, my, on myself. And I, as you can see, that's already following my body. So if I like, I can also do some more fine level control if I like. So if I can <coughs> attach my two arms to these two legs. That's kind of one good example of how we can use natural user interface technology as a way to unleash everybody's creativity. Because in, in the old days, when people want to create something, they usually have to go through professional training to, to learn to draw, learn to use a 3D modeling tool. And with this kind of natural technology, we can really let anybody who has the imagination to actually turn their imagination into reality.